Terrorists are on the attack, holding several hostages. At least 78 people are dead, 200 more wounded after gunmen used automatic weapons and grenades in a series of coordinated attacks. Gunmen targeted multiple locations, including two five-star hotels, a popular restaurant, and a train station. There are conflicting reports that the terrorists were specifically looking for Americans. Miguel Marquez has the latest now on our top story. The attacks were coordinated and calculated not to kill, but to take hostages. One of the attackers was caught on what appears to be a cell phone camera, machine gun in hand, two clips of bullets taped together, a bag slung around his shoulder. They wanted anyone with British or American passports. Say so anyone who had a British or American passport, they wanted to know. So I guess they were after foreigners, yeah, I guess. In the heart of India's financial capital, Mumbai, formerly known as Bombay, as many as seven attacks hitting luxury hotels, tourist destinations and transportation centers. One witness saying at the five-star Taj Mahal Hotel, gunmen shot their way into the lobby and tossed hand grenades at stunned guests. All right, there you go. Uh, you heard a big blast outside uh, right now uh, inside the Taj Hotel. Uh, there's a big blast because this gone off. Workers locked down hotels and moved guests into convention halls to try to keep them safe. Some people staying at the hotels escaped any way they could. Some security forces could only take cover right outside the hotel and wait for the all clear. One witness said all the attackers were in their 20s and hostages may have already been taken at two hotels. A little-known extremist group called Dekan Mujahideen has already taken responsibility for the attack, and U.S. officials say it's just the sort of highly coordinated attack that groups like Al-Qaeda would like to carry out. Miguel Marquez, ABC News, London.